And if you've got a raised border, as you can see here, it's sort of, you get more of it into the recesses, so you get quite a nice sort of um, natural age sort of effect, if you know what I mean. It's sort of, it's not, it's not even coverage. See, so you can see there it's slightly uneven, it's more yellow in the border there. Mm -hmm. so it's better. You want a bit of unevenness to get a bit of character to it. Um, a variation on the theme is you can have, um, like this one here, you've got more of a white on the inside and more cream on the outside. I mean, that's probably a bit too white, but you can have, this, have a raised border that's a bit, a bit, a bit more creamy. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite creamy in a, a bit out, right? the, the, um, I used to leave the edges of my board exposed wood, but um, personally I find that a bit distracting now, so I do tend to always have a red side to it, normally um, shellac with red uh, pigment, and then goes over the front, even if it's a painted icon, it can be a good idea to do that with shellac and red because when you're handling it, the egg paint, egg tender paint will come off more easily. Do you have to wait a year before putting on shellac the same way you would for putting a varnish on? No, it's not a varnish on either, it's just, just yeah. uh, no, no. I mean, you don't have to put it on there. So, um, so I, put, I put the shellac all over the edge and then varnish with wood varnish. Just put what, quick, 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 quick like wood, wood varnish, two coats, sides and back and three at the top and the bottom to close up the end grain. Um, so that's another variation. Um, right here's a blue one. So that's a, a blue one there. Again, that's got a bit of a, um, a line there, like the red, the white line there. That's actually azurite, quite a gritty azurite, but with a wash of black over a bit more depth because as you are by itself can be a bit a bit too blue. But um some of you like Lee, can you lift up your eye, Lee? 